Hello again, my friends. We continue our series on working for the Lord, doing the Lord's work, laboring in His vineyard. And today I'm going to touch upon a topic which is probably one of the most difficult to understand and one of the most difficult the Lord gave us, to care for our enemy, to do the work of the Lord in caring for those who have betrayed us, have wronged us, have maybe put us as a scapegoat in the midst of a situation. Paul again reminds us in his letter to the Corinthians, we've all been given a share of the Spirit. We've all been given a share of God's life, God's very self. And how can we be in service to our enemies? Maybe it's time to write a letter to a family member we've been squabbling with and bury the hatchet. Maybe it's visiting a cemetery and finally forgiving a parent or grandparent. Maybe it's coming to confession and pouring it all out. We don't judge. We're there to forgive. We're there to act in the person of Christ. And laying our heart down, we can walk out strong and renewed. A lot of times we forgive our enemy. They're not going to forgive us back. They may never know. But forgiveness doesn't mean what a person did is right. Forgiveness means I'm not going to let you chain me anymore. I'm going to walk forward. How can we do the work of the Lord in loving our enemies this day? How is the Lord calling all of us to forgive a little more, to show more mercy, and to be his instrument in the world? For we are in this together. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ. None of us are perfect. We all need a second chance. And we need that chance in order to build up his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven.